drip market time. I know I'm like super late, forgive me. It's been a long day. <laughs> but I also want to shout out to this art. Um, it's just like so good. The links, Sampo sneaking around in the background with the little Halloween art, little plushy uh, characters in the background. But we are here to discuss the new characters that were drip marketed. We have Ruin May. Her hair is not purple, so <laughs> as noted. We have the best of all, Dr. Ratio. Um, and <laughs> I didn't even realize he's doing this with his hands, like L plus Ratio. <laughs> That's amazing. Best character. And then we have, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it because I have no idea how to say it. Forgive me. I really, I don't want to butcher it, but it's something X U E Y I and uh, Jenny Okabori as well. So Yoimiya from, uh, from Genshin, but we'll go through and read their details here. I believe Ruin May is actually one of the, like Herder has a number and Skrulem has a number. I believe she also has a number as well. So her says, Extraterrestrial satellite communication ruin May. Want some pastry? Or want some pastry? The plums used in this recipe are freshly macerated and I waited in line a long time for them. Sweet tempered and elegant scholar. Yeah, there you go. Member 81 of the Genius Society. An expert in bio biological sciences. She earned Noos Noos attention with her talent and terrifyingly or terrifyingly terrifying perseverance and begin her research on the origin of life in a secret corner of the universe. Hmm. For that, she was invited by Herta to collaborate with Skrulem and Steph Steven to develop the simulated universe. Ooh, I wonder if we'll like see her in the room with her, like with Herta, that'd be cool. Secretly, she greatly enjoys uh, traditional theater and desserts, and she is also very interested in embroidery. Hmm. Emmy Lowe, it doesn't ring a bell, but. I, it probably does or something yet. Yeah, she looks, uh, definitely looks like someone from Zienjo, just like with the outfit. I'm not saying she is, but it just it looks like that very much so. Honestly, kind of looks like you, you just find her walking around in Zienjo, you know? Not quite NPC. I wouldn't say that, but like almost, you know? I think, I think I'm just kind of getting like, really used to the Zian Zhao look because we gotten so many people from there. You know, like Green Iphen's not even from there, but she has an outfit like she is. So there's just so many like outfits like this now, you know? So that is Ruin May. There's a lot more information about her. Uh, I believe like in the game, there's things you can read about her as well. But I think it's fascinating that she is part of the another, another member of the Genius Society. So hopefully she'll be a lot more up spirit, you know, like our uh, upbeat, not so much like Herta. <laughs> but hopefully she'll bring some flavor to uh, the personalities. And next we got my man, Dr. Ratio. This guy looks cool. It looks like he came out of a time machine. Extraterrestrial satellite communication, Dr. Ratio. The most annoying thing about idiocy is that you can't explain it to an idiot. <laughs> All right. A candid and self-centered Oh gosh, Intelligistia, guild member, who often conceals his appearance with a strange plaster sculpture. He demonstrated unparalleled intelligence and talent since his youth, but now refers to himself as a mon Monday night? Monday night? I think it's like mundane with like a night at the end. Sorry, I'm butchering all this. He firmly believes that intellect and creativity are not confined to geniuses. He seeks to distribute uh, knowledge to the entire universe to cure the persistent disease named ignorance. Jordan Paul Haro. He sounds very interesting, actually. I like his take when he says he believes that intellect and creativity are not confined to just geniuses, uh, which that should be fairly obvious. You know, I mean, like a lot of people would have that without being a quote unquote genius. Um, but it seems like he has good intentions, but very, very specific intentions in terms of, um, curing the, <laughs> the disease named ignorance. So I will say he definitely is the most interesting to me personally out of these three. Um, not like poll wise or like, you know, wanting the character, but just their persona, what they're about. He seems to be the most interesting. 
Um, forgot to mention as well, uh, Ruin May was, you can see here, she is Cryo and Erudition. And it looks like that the ratio is imaginary. Yes, imaginary hunt. So that should definitely spice things up considering those are uh, paths and elements together that we didn't have before. Imaginary and hunt. So definitely like him a lot. I like the <laughs> first sentence as well. But I don't have many much information on him in terms of uh, his like information in the game. There's lore in the game right now. I'm sure it's there, but I just haven't heard too much about Dr. Ratio. I can't say I've heard too much about that one. Maybe you guys can let me know. And last but not least, once again, I'm not even going to try it, <laughs> but I think it was like Zooey, Zue, maybe? I don't know. But she is Quantum Destruction. So that's very interesting because we do not have that yet. So Quantum Destruction. She can fit with like the mono quantum kind of teams. Extraterrestrial satellite communication. You are talking to a puppet. The commission gifted me this body. Oh, that actually makes sense. One of the judges from the 10 Lords Commission of the four duties of judge, detention, interrogation, incarceration, and punishment. She is charged with detention. Holding iron chains in Mara Sunder all in her hands. She tirelessly tracks down wanted criminals and subdues them. And Jenny Okabori, which is freaking awesome. So, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she's a puppet. You're talking to a puppet. The commission gets to me this body. Ten Lords Commission. Honestly, that, that's pretty laid out. Laid out pretty well, considering it kind of gave us all the information uh, about her. Generally, not specifically, but generally. Pretty blatant. I'm a, I'm a puppet. But then again, doesn't actually say who said this. I'm assuming it's her herself saying it. But usually there's like a end quote in the person's name. It just kind of has that in quotations. But then again, I'm assuming that we're talking to her or she's saying that to us. But she tirelessly tracks down wanted criminals and subdues them. I don't want to swell anything, but just know that this character is available to be seen in the game. She just she is just in the game already. Like she's not in the game as playable. But she is, you know, viewable in the game. So it's always cool to like see someone and kind of have an experience with them. And then they actually release later. So, but there you have it. There's our 1.6 lineup, I believe. 1.6 lineup for the characters. Um, there, there could be more. You never know. But I think that is the official lineup for 1.6. Kind of surprised we didn't get more Pentacone characters. Unless, unless these are Pentacone characters. At least two of them. But at the same time, I'm glad we got these characters specifically because they were talked about in the game a handful of times. And I'm glad they won't just be these mysterious characters that get talked about and they're actually coming to the game. So happy about that. I'm more excited about them in a lore kind of way, like story wise, not so much like pulling them. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Who are you excited for 1.6 if you're even thinking that far? We still have 1.5 to get to and, and get through, but I don't know. Overall, I feel like Hiao Hiao has my attention and I'd say Dr. Ratio for sure. L plus ratio. <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely love that. We'll see what happens. Uh, sorry again, it was kind of late checking this out about 16 hours late. I just can't wait for Panacone to be honest and that'll pretty much do it for me. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.